Precious friends, precious family, how are you doing today? God is good. Our God is a good God. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. I thank and praise God for this wonderful opportunity to share God's word with you once again. In the book of Matthew, chapter 25, 34 to 41, we read like this. Then the king shall say unto them on his right hand, Come, all of you, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. You see, here God gives us a preview of the judgment day. Got it? And God continues to say, Jesus continues to say, For I was an hungered, and all of you gave me food. I was thirsty, and all of you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and all of you took me in. I was naked, and all of you clothed me. I was sick, and all of you visited me. I was in prison, and all of you come unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when we saw you and hungered and fed you, or thirsty and gave you drink, when we saw you a stranger and took you in, or naked and clothed you, or when we saw you sick or in prison and came unto you, and the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as all of you have done it to me of the least of these, my brethren, all of you have done it unto me. Then he shall say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, all of you, cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, the most shocking, horrible verse we could ever hear from God will be these depart from me. That would be the most shocking, horrible words from God in case if we fail to live up to godly standards in order to inherit the kingdom of God. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, Jesus himself is saying here very clearly what would happen on the day of judgment. You see, he is, God is comparing himself with the hungry folks, the thirsty folks, the strangers, the naked folks, the sick folks, the prisoners. You got it? He is comparing himself. He is equating himself. He says that they are me. In other words, God says that there are righteous homeless people. There are righteous people in the streets. There are righteous people in the prison cells. There are righteous people everywhere. The poor, the beggars, the sick, the naked folks who are uncared for in the streets. God equates, identifies, compares himself with these poor folks. And he says that, I was hungry, you fed me. I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, you took me in. I was naked, you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. You see, many times we think like this. These people who are in the prison, these people who are in the streets, these people who are in sickness, these people who are uncared for, we think that 
they are cursed we think that they are not approved of god my brother my sister my friend you are making a huge mistake jesus himself said he says that if you help these people if you care about these people if you love these people you are loving god himself and the bible gives a great warning here and he says then he shall also say unto them on the left hand depart from me all of you cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels to whom to those people who never fed the hungry who never clothed the naked who never visited the sick who never visited the people who were in prison who never took care of poor needy people around us isn't it shocking my brother my sister my friend wake up wake up so this is what we read in hebrews chapter 13 1 and 2 1 to 3 god says like this let brotherly love continue be not forget forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unexpectedly remember them that are in bonds as bound with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourself also in the body god says that that very many times we see strangers around beggars around helpless people around and we think that they are poor human beings my brother my sister my friend wake up there are angels roaming around and god is watching how we respond to them god is watching that's the reason god said love your neighbor as yourself that is the heart of god and in the book of acts chapter 9 verse 1 through 7 we see jesus identifying himself with the christians saul was persecuting the church he was hunting down the christians and jesus met him on the way to damascus and he called him saul saul why you persecute me and saul having heard the voice from heaven he was under shock and he asked lord who are you and he said i am jesus so he was saul was persecuting the christians and jesus said you are persecuting me you got it we are identified as jesus see my brother look at the love of god love love of god is matchless uncomparable god loves the poor people god loves the people who are uncared for god loves the homeless god loves the people who are in street without any help any hope my brother my sister my friend wake up jesus loves you god loves you that is the reason god is speaking to you directly telling you to take care of people who are hungry to take care of people who are thirsty to take care of people who are sick to take care of people who are in the prison cells to take care of people who are naked you got it there are so many orphan children around so many widows around so many fatherless around so many poor and needy around god says that take care of them the day will come we will have to answer before god we will be standing before god and we will have to answer and god is warning us wake up wake up wake up 
on the most horrible, most shocking statement from God would be, depart from me. And he said that he cursed. And he said, he was telling them, go into hell, the everlasting fire. My brother, my sister, my friend, stop and take stock of your life. Examine, self-examine your life. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah.